YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a professional esports banner. This is something that's quite close to my heart. I like esports, so I wanted to share something with you that I made. Uh, I hope you can follow along and learn something from it. Uh, this is what I'm going to be making this poster here professional esports player plays for Chicago Huntsman. Some of you may know it if you're watching, some of you may not. It's all about the design, really. So, this is what I'm going to show you how to make. Let's get straight into it. So, first things first, you're going to need to get your document which is going to be a A4 black background. It's just standard size, really. And then you're going to need to get your text tool first. And you're just going to have to write the king to start off. And you're going to need to probably download a few fonts for this, which I will, um, I will leave in the description below. So this one's going to be called Impact. And we're going to change this color to white. So once you change it to white, you'll say, you're thinking probably it doesn't look like the other design because we need to actually make it bigger for one and then we need to change the fill. So if you look at it now, it's like, so if I double click on it and decrease the fill, like so, you can't see it now. So if you double click on it and go to the layer style options and then you go to stroke and you outline it, there you go, it's like it is meant to be. So if you give it probably about eight, I would say it's probably good for the stroke and then what you need to do you need to duplicate this five times probably uh, I'm just gonna duplicate it once and then drag it down so like so and then you can just duplicate it again let's highlight all of them and then we'll put them in a group so once we've put them in the group just name it like text or king probably would be a good one because it, that's what it is and then we can probably just go on the group and reduce the opacity down to about about 70 I'd say just about 70 and then if you want to move them down command T so they're in line with the center that's done so the next thing I'm gonna to need to do is get the texture now I use this off a graphics pack that I have uh, which I downloaded from a youtuber but you can use anything you want really uh, it's completely up to you there's many out there I'll leave some links in the description for you guys just so you can basically have a play around and see what works with it, I, there's plenty of good textures online. You just need to find them. And then what I did with this next is I changed it to screen, I think, or overlay. It might have been overlay. No, it was definitely screen. So yeah, use screen. That's, that's all fine. That's done. Uh, the next thing to do is probably get the image of the um, person we're using, which co he's called Scump. So if you get the image, which I'll leave in the description below, um, and you just need to download it, and then you can cut him out from the background. So I'm going to use the pen tool for this. I'm just going to speed it up so you don't have to worry about watching it. Right guys, so once you've cut it out, you just drag and drop it into the document and then you're all good to go basically. So I've done that. Next thing to do is add a rectangle, which is going to overlay over the top. So if I just get my rectangle tool like so, and you want to get this the right width. So it needs to be between these two, this N down the side, uh, and it's just going to bleed over the page. And the color of it's going to be sort of like a dark green, which is going to match the, the logo of their, their team. So we'll do that and then we're just going to change this to screen. Right, so now we've added our rectangle. The next thing we're going to do is get the circle which is going to show the city that he's from behind the player. So if you get the ellipse tool and just drag and drop a circle like so. It doesn't really matter what color it's going to be. Um, it's personal preference. I'm just going to make it green just for the sake of it. If you select it and you just drag it below the player like so, now it's behind him. And then we're just going to get an image of Chicago and drop it in. So now we've got our image of Chicago, we're just going to drag and drop it over the top, clipping mask it onto the, the circle. So now as you can see it's gone behind. Now if you command T you can edit where you want it to where you want it to be, what you want it to show. So I'm going to put it probably somewhere like that and then that, that's pretty good for me. Um, next thing you're going to need to do is probably, um, you could change the circle colour uh, or to overlay. So if you use your blending options you can change it to like greeny. It sort of depends on how you want it to look. I'm not too fussed on mine. Uh, you can also turn the opacity down, but it, it's completely up to you really. The next thing we're going to do is add a overlay. Well, not an overlay, sort of a, a highlight to the, uh, the character here. So if you create a new layer, put it below, and then we're just going to get our brush tool, probably increase the size like so. And then we're going to change the color to probably probably green like the same green as we've been using for the rectangle and all the other stuff sort of like a green glow around him make the brush quite small when you go around his head 
because you don't want it looking too overcasting on the design. Uh, and then what you can do is you can change this to screen so it looks like he's actually glowing. And then you can double this up again if you want it to look like stronger. Or if not, if you just want to leave it then that's fine. Uh, you don't even have to do it if you don't want to. But that that's the glow. So if you want to just name that glow so you remember. The next thing we're going to do is probably add the text. So you're going to need another font for this, which is going to be a font called Expressway. And then you're going to need to download all of them and get the bold one. So if you've got Photoshop, you should already have this. Um, it's pretty simple to, to get. Once you've got Expressway font, you just need to write Seth, which is going to be his name. And then just going to drag and drop that on. So if I just command T that and I can drag and drop this if I move it above so I can see and this is going to be quite small. This is just going to be like the part of the design. So if I put this like here for now and um, then I write probably let's just write scump which is his name uh, his in game name and then we command T this again and then we can put this along the bottom. So this is going to be a lot bigger um, just so it like overlays the thing so I want this to line up with the bottom of his jumper his hoodie so it just looks a bit more together so if I command T that I'm just gonna move that above so that's already looking quite good so you want the you want the out the s in line with each other so it all looks like it's been measured out properly and then the last bit is Abner which is his last name Right, so once you've got that, you want to make sure the R is lined up with the P, like I'm doing now. Now, uh, if you can see, the king bit in the background is actually coming through quite a bit, so I'm just going to reduce the opacity again for that, because you don't want that too overpowering. So if you make it about 30, you can see it's in the background, but it's not like actually disappeared. So if you go back and lock that, now we can see what we're doing a bit better with the text. So I've got the Abner bit, I've got the Seth, which I'm going to just change to Seth in capitals like that now we've got that so that's the text done pretty much you can add a texture over the top of it if you want to uh, it's completely up to you I'm just gonna group them together because it's easier to manipulate them and then I'm just gonna double click so I get the blending options and then I'm gonna do a drop shadow and then I'm gonna do an outer glow so the outer glow is gonna be the same green as I've used here and I'm just gonna reduce the opacity a bit like to about 38 just so it looks like it is glowing um, the next thing we're going to do is add the Huntsman logo in the background so if I drag and drop that in I'm going to I'm going to leave all these in the description so you guys can follow along and then you just want to reduce the size of this so like so and make sure it's, it's got to be dead lined up with the rectangle and then I can just move it below and I can change the blending mode so it looks a bit darker so it's not too right so I've gone with linear dodge add and then I'm just going to reduce the opacity so it just looks like it's in the background with the rest of it. Now, the next thing we need to add is probably we just need to duplicate the text so it looks like 3D. So if you Command J that and then move it below, you're just going to move it down basically. Now you might not be able to see this straight away, but as you can see if I go off it, you can see there's a little line underneath so it makes it look 3D. And that's just adding an extra effect which is key to making this design look good right so the next thing we're going to add is a texture over the top of this uh, text drag and drop this into your design you can choose any texture you want I sort of chose sort of like a paper texture but it looks quite like like stone so it makes it look a bit more 3d and then you're just going to want a clipping mask that onto the text that should basically just add another element to it just to make it look a bit better and that's all for that so the next thing we're going to do is add a some circles at the bottom here so if you make sure you've got your green color selected and then we're just going to drag and drop them. They don't need to be too big, they're just there for effect really. And then we're just going to duplicate these, like so Alt and then drag them across. There we go. And then Alt down. We've got four, I'm just going to make sure this one's in line with the rest of them. And then we just need to select all of them and then group, group them all. And we're just going to Command T this and make sure they're in the center of the design because that's key really. So now we've got the circles got the person we've pretty much done everything now oh yeah that's it we need to add some color to his eyes because obviously as you can see now they're quite dissolved if you if you could say that so I'm just gonna add a layer above I'm gonna clip it clip him mask it to his face and then I'm gonna get my brown color probably I'm gonna just select a color on his face which is fairly brown change it to a lighter brown so now if I zoom in on his face 
you can see his eyes you just need to reduce your brush size and then you just need to paint around his eyeball obviously not on the black bit but if you go around make your way around yourself and once again with this one like so you can see this doesn't look great at the moment but if I change the uh, thing to screen or overlay probably screen would be best and then if you come out of it his eyes actually stand out a lot more it doesn't need to be perfect but it works. Uh, the last thing we need to do for the Seth, the character, we need to add another texture over the top, which is this one that I, um, I have here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that in, and it's gonna do what I did on the other one. So what I did is I dropped the texture on top of the design, layer masked his face out so it didn't have the texture on his face, just so it added that extra, so you can just concentrate on his face basically more. Um, so the last thing we need to do is add some texture to these circles so I'm just going to drag and drop that in like I did with the other one it's going to go over the top of the circles and then if I just clip and mask that now as you can see we've got like some actual texture over the top of the circles that's pretty much it for this design um, I just need to add probably the king logo would be good to add in and then there's one more bit of texture which I'm just going to drag and drop over the top I can leave, I'll leave all these in the description just so it saves you guys time when you're doing it uh, if you just minimize that a bit so these are just particles basically which are going to go over the top of the design just to basically just add another element to it by scump and I'm just going to drag and drop this king logo in now you can find these online as well like I was saying before you it doesn't take a genius to find them you just type in graffiti crown and then they'll be in the description uh, in, in online sorry which I will so what you're going to need to do when you drag and drop this in is you just need to select it all and then what you're going to need to do is go layer via copy and then you've got your crown so if you get rid of that one and then we're going to change this color to white so color overlay to white there we go so we got the crown now we just need to position it so it's below the guy's head and we're just going to make it, make it a little bit smaller so now that we've uh, positioned the crown underneath the head what we need to do now is just reduce the opacity down just so it doesn't look too prominent on the design. I think I had mine probably something about 20% because you don't, you really don't want it too much. So that, that that's all we need to do for that. So we've got our glow around the person, we've got the glow around the text, we've got our circles at the bottom, we've got our texture, we've got our circle there with the Chicago in it. So the last thing we need to do is do a color correction. So I'm just gonna basically group all of this together uh, and just need to unlock them as well. So if I group them all together now to get one whole layer and then what I need to do is just select it all and layer via cut. When I select that, layer via cut. Now it's cut all the rubbish away that we don't need and now I've got our layer. So the next thing we're going to do is add the color correction. So if you go filter, camera raw filter and then you just need to go to basic and then you can sort of start adding stuff in. So if you want to see what it looks like from the original, you just click that bottom down below. I'm going to add a bit of warmth and maybe a bit of green so exposure you can increase a tiny bit contrast you can sort of play around with these yourself uh, I've got and I'm gonna add some clarity as well you don't want to dehaze too much vibrance is good if you want the green to stand out and saturation like so and then if we add a curves layer you just make a simple S curve manipulate that as you go you can change it to like the greens if you want to you know add pink in it's completely up to you. Depends which way you want to go with it. Like you can you can just completely undo it if you want. Maybe a bit of green added in. So then if we go to detail, we can go to sharpening, sharpen up a little bit. Uh, effects, and this is where you add the grain. So if we increase that and the size, probably something like that. And we can go back up to basics and we can add a bit more yellow if we want to. Or we can add some blue in. So the blue looks quite nice actually. I didn't do it the first time, but I'm gonna add some this time just to change it up a bit. And then if we go to calibration at the bottom, we can add green in the shadows and then you can bring out reds and you can sort of play around with the primary colors of the design then if you want to bring the blue out it's personal preference really so i'm going to leave it like that and then if i just let it do its thing it's a completely different design now that we've um, actually added the camera or filter in a minute you'll see so there you go that's what it was before that's all for this design uh, this is how you make a professional esports poster so if you want to see more of this just let me know in the comments and i'll do more of them if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.